Hi everybody, today we're at the home of Crybaby Performance and we are gonna talk about gear ratios. So how to calculate them. So right over here we have uh, the Micron Up. Super useful piece of information because the first thing to calculate a gear, you need to know the RPMs. So right here, our uh, lap time is 5.88 with a 60-30 RPM. This is a UT3 recommended to run you know 58 to 6,000 rpm so this one's pretty good it's a titch high but the drops are amazing the uh, lap times are amazing so uh, the max speed is amazing so we'll leave this one right where it is so let me show you how to calculate that if you're high or low so we come over here and this is how many gears we have um, when you're running multiple cars, you need two, sometimes three of the real common gears. So here, over here, you can see some of these gears are worn out. This one's about half gone. And uh, you can see that this one's brand new. So when they get about halfway, they're done. You have to replace them. And then the axle gears, they're split gears like this. This is a 25. Um, these ones don't seem to wear out as much as the engines do. So you gotta make sure your chain is aligned properly. We have a piece of chain here too that we'll get to in a few minutes. So when we go to our gear ratio, this is one of my favorite formulas because what you have is you put your desired RPM, which is around 6,000, and you divide it by your actual R RPM, which is 5,800, and then you times it by your gear ratio, which we're starting with a 480, and then it will give you the new ratio, and then you have to look it up on a chart. So on our first example, we want to, uh, we're at 5,800 and we want to go up 200 RPM. So times the 480 gives us a new gear of 496. Our current gear was 3225, now we're going to a 3125. In the same sense, if our RPM on a motor is running a little high at 62 and we want to bring it to 6, same thing, times the 480 gives you a number, 464, which is a 3226. So when we talk about these numbers, a 480, we'll go over to our chart here. When we're looking for the 480, it's right there. It's a 3225. So we could also guess and go one. Uh, axle gear over to a 26 or to a 27. So there's lots of numbers in the range that you can get to, but trying to calculate that number is the hard part rather than guessing. A lot of people say that the axle uh, gear is worth one two up, tooth up or down is worth 200 RPM. And a lot of people say that the engine one is worth 100 RPM, but we, we find that to be a little bit off. So we always calculate the gear. So for instance, on this one, we got a 32.25 at a 480, and now we calculated it and we need a 496. So we're gonna go to 480 on our chart, which is right there, and then we're looking for a 496, okay? Which 495 is right there. We may, may not find a 496. 96 or if we have to come all the way over here to get a 495 now we're changing both gears in the car so you can find the ratio on the chart it's just nice to be able to only change one gear instead of both of them on the car so back over here in our other example we're looking for a 464 from a 480 so we got a 480 right there Right below it, we got 465. Doesn't have to be exact. If you're one point or two point off, it is not gonna make that big of a difference. So usually on a gear change, we're looking for a 10 point difference, 15 point difference, or if we're way out, 20 point difference. So here's some examples. This is from the Waterford track. These were our favorite gears. We tried all kinds of combinations. And for instance, uh, senior Honda right here, we liked 3832, which was 517. That was at 58 to 6,000 RPM for the UT2, UT3. The 160, we liked the 504 at 6,000 to 61. Animal, we never changed this gear all year long. 
ran this all the time, this 479, 38, 30. Uh, heavy World Formula, again, um, that RPM is 7,000, so we ran this 518, which is interesting because the 518 up here, we were running a 517. So a lot of times there's a lot of correlation. And then in the mod, the mod is the easiest one of all. It's always 607. 24, 24 equals 607. 28, 28 is 607. 29, 29 is 607. Um, but actually on this chart, it's 614. So that's another thing we have to talk about. This is the Honda side of the chart. Okay. When you flip it over, you get the Briggs side of the chart, which there's that 607 running across from there. One thing I wish I would have learned in quarter midgets, I wish somebody told me this, so I'm telling you guys this right now. For your gear ratios, only use the Honda chart. Forget that the Briggs even exists. The gear ratio is, it's just a ratio. So if you know where you're going and you know where you want to be, it's just a ratio. By flipping it over and using the other chart, we've made the mistake and we've calculated the gear off the wrong side of the chart. By only ha using one side of the chart and one gear set, um, you can never make a mistake that way. The other thing is I crossed out all these numbers on the top because you can't even get those gears, so they shouldn't even be on the chart. So our focus is pretty much right there. And if you look at the numbers, they range from about, you know, 450 to, to 550. Well, if you look, all our gears are in the, you know, basically 500, 500 range. So any track you go to, you can start with about a 500. The other thing is if you have these numbers from one track and you figure, hey, this is the gear that works at that track, if you add the points to the other ones or deduct the points from the other ones, you're gonna be able to figure out your gears for the other car and it's gonna get you really close into the ballpark. So, like I said before, we chart everything out on a sheet like this. You know, there's the UT3 on a ratchet, 3125, 495. The 495, for whatever the reason that day, uh, we used it, maybe it was hot, maybe it was cold. And, but we normally ran uh, 417. So again, this is the easiest way to calculate your uh, gear ratio and most people don't even know how to do this. So the first thing you can say about an engine is you wanna run it at whatever the RPM spec is from your engine builder. So the engine builder should give you that spec and that's where you wanna run. Then you need that micron again to be able to calculate the number. If you're saying your driver's not fast or he's not good or the driver's not fast enough or the car isn't fast enough, first thing you want to check is your gear ratio. When your gear ratio is spot on, then you can start looking at other things. So again, um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this explains gears and ratios and what you need to get your car dialed in. Give us a like and a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.